Hey guys, welcome to, what's today? Tuesday, it's Tuesday. What day is it? The 14th, it's Tuesday, <laughs> April 14th. Perfect. Day 400 of quarantine. Okay, hi guys on Instagram and on Facebook. I, this is as close as I can get these cameras together, so I think it's gonna be okay. Yeah. All right. Kayla, love your posts. Need to get a horse and post some stuff because it's awesome. Seriously, he's got the best training partners. Best training partners. I'm going to start a horse boxing gym, I think. Okay. Be my next endeavor. The corner horse boxing gym. Flat back. 
I get cords plumbing from my sternum. Tip, squeeze my butt, that brings me upright. Two, one. Now you do that same thing, but now your feet are gonna go wide up. Show you straight up. Wide feet, toes slightly pointing outward, a little bit of my knees. Lean with my chest, push my hips back. Boom, so the moment I feel that back side going around, your lobes a bit tight, hamstrings. That's when I know I stop the movement and I come back upright. Okay, feet are wide, toes are slightly out. Three, two, one. Good. Next, you're going to grab up on your knees. Feet are a little bit wider, grab underneath your toes. Kind of pull it upright on them. I might drop my hips down, chest up. And then I'm going to keep pulling upright. Pull it upward. And then I drop my hips back down, chest comes up. So it's a profile. Grab it up, hips come up. Pull it up. Big stretch of my hamstrings. Hips come down, my chest tips upward. What is in here? Hips come up, pull it upward on my toes. Pull it upward on my toes again as I pull my hips down. Pushing my chest forward, so not here. I'm shrugging up and out of my shoulders. One more time. Pull it upward, big stretch through my hamstrings and calves and back. Pull it upward. Front out of my shoulders. Come on up. Grab your jump rope. I should have tied my shoes, but we'll do this without me. Sorry. I have my better jump rope. Just you. Just freestyle. If you don't have a rope, you can just hop around. Jumping jacks. Those work too. Three, two, 
One, good. Now, same movement, but we're going to throw our flinches. We're going to grab some water. Come on, let's go back. Let's try it out. Just makes me nervous. It's totally fine. Makes me nervous. So I'm just really thirsty. So feet are parallel. Hands up. Turn on your right foot. Throw your right foot straight out there. My head is over my left. I right, bring it back. Pinkies, corner mouth, elbows to my body, protecting my body. Throw my left over top of my right foot. So I'm off that center line. Now we're just going to go from one to the other. Turning on the bell of the foot. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. When I throw my right hand, I pull that left shoulder back. So I'm pulling that opposite shoulder back. Three, two, one. Now we're going to throw uppercuts. Turning my hips. Pulling that opposite shoulder back, taking my head over my left foot and over my right foot. Five, four, keep pulling that opposite shoulder back. Two, one. Now hooks. My form is parallel to the ground. I'm pouring the cup of coffee, my head's off that center line. Boom. Turning on the ball of my feet. I'm not doing this. Where you can see my shirt, I pull my left shoulder back and I throw my right, pull my right shoulder back, pull it back. It's turning over that fist. Meaning my palm is towards the ground. Five, four, three, head traveling, two, one. Good. Next, we're going to roll our shots. Now we're going to go into our boxing stance. So I'm right hand up with my left foot forward. I'm going to go right into my line, and I'm just going to roll. I'm going to focus on pulling my left shoulder back when I throw my right hand, pulling my right shoulder back, turning out the balls of my feet. Five, four, two, one. Good. Fix my hoodie. Grab your rope. Pick it on up. Or your imaginary rope, pick that up. Turn it on. If you have some space, travel a couple feet forward, travel a couple feet backwards. If you don't have a lot of space, just hop forward and backwards. Right. So the right fist, go the left fist. 
Turning your shoulders. Three, two, one. The difference is when I really turn my shoulders, you guys can see the back of my shirt. If I don't turn my shoulders, you won't be able to see it. So pull my left shoulder back and throw my right hand. You can see I get narrow, but I'll put two or three inches on my reach, which is really important. Now we're gonna go. Right foot is gonna stay in. Foot. I'm gonna step forward my left and throw my right fist. I step back on my left and throw my left. Step forward, step back. Step forward, so it's opposite. Meaning when my right foot is forward, my left fist is forward. When my left foot is forward, my right fist is forward. It's just like how we walk. Forward punching. Three, two, good. We're gonna do that same thing, switching feet, but now we're gonna throw uppercuts. So my left foot stays put. I'm gonna throw my left uppercut, step forward on my right foot. I'm gonna step back on my right foot. I'm gonna throw my right uppercut. I step forward on my right, throw my left, step back on my right foot, throw my shoulders. That's a big thing on this one. If you have a tight thoracic spine, which is this area of your spine, you're gonna feel this. It's gonna be tough from the beginning. Three, two. Left foot steps forward, throw your right. Step back on your left foot, throw your left. Step forward on your left foot, throw your right. Step back, throw your left. Step forward on our right foot. We're 
We're going to throw our left straight left. Step forward on our left, throw our straight right. Step forward on our right, throw our left, so it's opposite. Boom. Now we're just going to rewind that. I step back with my left foot, I throw my left, turn to my shoulder, step back, step back, step back. So the opposites are ahead. Okay? Forward one, two, three, four, back, one, two, three. So you got the hammer frame. One, two, three, four. Now four. One, two, three, four. Back. One, two, three, four. Forward. Back. Four. One, two, three, four. Back. Four. Now I'm going to throw an uppercut. So I'm going to step forward on my right foot. I'm going to throw my left uppercut. Pull my right shoulder back. Step forward on my left. Throw my right. Two. Three, four, backwards. One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four, back. Four. One, two, three, four, back. One, two, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hook. Step forward to your right. Throw your left hook, which is my, my red rack is my left hand. Step forward my left, throw your right hook, which is my blue rack. Pulling that opposite shoulder back. Three, four. Now moving backwards. One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four. Back. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. So those are those ambulating or walking punches that we're going to work on. That is part of the universal boxer system. I'll say it again. It's more of a European style or Cuban style. To say a little bit higher, Cubans can go both styles. They can do everything. But a higher style, higher hips is what I mean by that. Boxing a little bit more upright. Okay? That gives me high hips, gives me the mobility that I want, the footwork advantage over my opponent. Low hips, which is more traditional American style. Low hips give me stability and good upper body movement. Okay, I can move really, really well with my upper body. Can move as well with my upper body if I'm high up, but I can move better with my hips. So let's go in through our punches. So hands up. We're gonna roll. One, twos. So we're starting there. Turning our hips. Good. Now we're going to throw two threes. Making sure that I pull. When I throw my, my two, I'm going to pull my lead shoulder back. That sets up a real strong hook. Okay? If I don't pull that shoulder back, it's going to be a weak hook. I want a strong hook, so I pull that knee shoulder back. Strong. Good. Now, with my lead hand, I'm going to throw my five. I'm going to always throw my two with my rear hand. So two, five, two. Good. Now I'm going to go back to my jab with my lead hand. So I'm throw my one twos. Pull my left shoulder back still. Turning my hips. Now I'm going to throw my four with my rear hand. So four, jab, four, one, four. When I throw my rear uppercut, I'm pulling that left shoulder back. I'll show you the profile. That way I know I'm doing it. And hands are coming back to my chin. There's always a moment where I want to touch my chin. At least at one moment. I might drop away from a little bit when I'm boxing. But I have a moment, especially after I throw that punch, I bring my hand back. We have a saying in boxing, follow their punches back. So if my opponent throws a punch, I want to follow that punch back with my own hand. That way if they bring their hand back low, boom, I can crack the punch. Even if they follow it back, I'm going to be safe. Now we're going to go four fives. Rotating your shoulders. Four, five. Focusing on pulling the shoulder back. Now let's go four, three. So rear uppercut, lead hook. Right now, don't lose it on this one. Turning your hips. So when you throw that two, your back toe should be forward. That hip should come around the corner. 
Now we're gonna alternate. Let's go four, five, four, three. Four, five, four, three. And already, I'll go with this one, I already feel better. Four, five, four, three. Four, five, four, three. Five, four, three. Now I'm gonna set up the four, I'm gonna throw my two. So two, four, two, five, I'm sorry, two, five, two, three. Two, five, two, three. Two, five, two, three. Driving that left shoulder back when I throw my two. So I get that nice load for when I come back with my lead hand. The more I pull that left shoulder back, the more power I'm gonna have in that lead hand when it comes through. Boom, boom. Now we're gonna go one, two. So I'm always gonna throw with my two with my rear hand, and I'm gonna throw my three. Two, one, two, 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 three. Notice my head travels. It doesn't stay in the same spot like this. Okay, it travels off the center line. Joe Lewis from Detroit did not get the credit he deserved for how what a great defensive fighter he was. And that's because he always fought with his head off the center line. He had a little bit different style than what you see today. That center line. And it helped him also create more power for our shots. So now let's go. One, two, five, two. One, two, five, two. One, two, five, two. I like the two, five for a combination. The rear straight shot and the lead uppercut. Especially for you have somebody who likes to dip their head down. You might miss them with that too because they'll dip underneath it. But then they dip right into that five. Now let's go. Always a jab with the light lead hand. Rear uppercut. Jab, straight two. Jab, four, jab, two. One, four, one, two. So you guys see how you can just drill your different punch sequences. Now when you throw your two, that's going to give you more power. Boom. Good shoulder rotation, good hip rotation. Perfect. Not get bored with doing the same thing over and over again. Good time. So, that sequence in itself we can block out and give to you guys. So, I'll maybe put together just a bunch of rolling shots there. It's a good warm up. Me, you can even do that. You know, to kind of balance off the stress and your body, especially if you're not a competitive athlete. Learning all of that in your non-dominant stance would be really good. So let's do one round, and we're just going to roll straight shots, because that's probably the easiest thing for you guys to be able to do. I pick up some of my switch stances. So normally, this is my boxing stance. I'm an orthodox fighter. I'm going to switch stances, and I'll put my back foot, which is my right foot, forward. I'm gonna roll straight shots. Feels a lot different in my upper body doing this because I'm not used to doing it. You're gonna say, I think this feels really weird. Well, yes, of course it feels weird. If it didn't feel weird, I might make you a lefty boxer or you're an opposite stance. You're a righty because that is what feels good. You're a lefty because that's what feels good. No judgment. We're very, very welcoming at this gym. Three, two, one, good. Grab a quick sip of water. Grab a pair of gloves, I'm gonna to toss them on. And we're gonna do one round of shadow boxing. Maybe more, but one for now. Shadow boxing is always a good 
good thing you don't need a lot of space. People ask me, you know, what should I do to get better at boxing? Da 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 da. -da. That is literally the best thing for you to do. You want to be a better boxer? Shadow box. You don't need any equipment. You don't even need gloves. Okay? You want to put in a little bit of weight. You can hold some cans of something. You know, if you want something that's non boxing to get better at boxing, jump rope is a good one. Running, okay, are good ones. But if you want to be a better runner, run. If you want to be a better boxer, box, aka shadow box. It takes no equipment, no excuses. Now set the clock. Pivot two. One, two, pivot two. 
One, two, step around, two. One, two, step around, two. Five, four, five, four, three, two. And step up, one, one. Good work. Next, if you have a head bag, great, jump on it. If you don't, and you have a band, great, grab your band. The shadow box with your band. Grease the side, does she have to get the band, band or not? She's making a decision. Where's the band? She can also pretend she doesn't have a band. Okay, back. So, this round, everything is going to finish with a double jab. So, every combination, double jab on the end. Well, my coach, Coach Abdullah, always been on the mitts. We threw the combination, there was a pause, double jab. Right turn. Hands are up. So when I throw that double jab, I'm typically moving laterally or circling laterally. Turn that hip, pop it. Every time, pop it. 
your playlist. That was before Spotify. Last one. Chris Cross, if you want to switch it up a little bit. because you've got a social engagement. Sorry, bad joke. Um, it'll be there for you. You can go back. And you really shouldn't be missing any of the classes. Yeah, They're all epic. For, yeah, and I'm trying to make it, I know these a little bit easy breezy classes, more of a fundamentals workout. For who? But, <laughs> she didn't have the band. <laughs> right after, no, I didn't. <laughs> so, but exactly, you want to pick up the intensity of these classes. You can reach out, we can help you guys get some stuff. We're here for you. We miss ya. We love ya. See you guys very soon. Mahalo. Bye. Bye guys.